Oh, hello. Welcome back. BST and the place to be. Uh, back at you this week with uh, by request tips and tricks and how to utilize the new Kanger G5 Clearmizer. So let's take a look. You buy them by the box and they come five in the box, each individually wrapped. So first we'll just remove the wrapping. And here it is. This is the new G5 clear cardamizer from Kanger. Uh, Kanger makes the standard kind of uh, basic, you know, uh, cotton filled or polyfill kind of uh, cardamizers and now they're making uh, this one here which in my opinion is kind of a hybrid between one of these and um, like a clearamizer, kind of in, a, in the middle there. Uh, not as much storage as the big ones, um, but flavor a little drier and uh, similar to this, which I like. So um, let's take a look at one. Um, first of all, to fill it, all you do is remove this. It's not threaded or anything, but it's a really nice rubber seal. I haven't had a drop leak out of one of these, so uh, they're pretty good for leakage. Um, to fill it, uh, same as a clearamizer, you're, you're running juice into the top there and not wanting to get it into that center tube. I find an easy way to do that is these new um, dripper bottles we have at nickfitnation.com with the elongated plastic thing here. Uh, so what you can do is you can basically stick that right to the side so there's no way any juice is going to get into that center tube. Give it a slight squeeze and you can see it will just start to fill up. And there's a markings on the side there, so you can see where the top line is at 0 0.9 mil, which I just hit right there. Take your cap and put it back on, like so. That's it. It's filled. Anytime I start a brand new cardamizer, I like to kind of uh, give it a few seconds, allow a chance for the liquid to saturate down the wicks and into the heating coil. Now with this device here, this model, the heating coil and the wicks are at the top here. Uh, so every few uh, vapes or so, you're going to want to kind of make sure that top area is full of juice. Because when you turn it upside down and then back straight again, uh, quite a bit of liquid gets stuck up here around the wicks, which is a good thing. That's where you want it, up there. So, And then to utilize... Now I use the, uh, the Elite as my device right now. And because this device is square, um, I can store it on its side. So when I put it on a desk, I put it on its side, which keeps it nice and, uh, and saturated and wet in the top part where I want it. So it's perfect for this kind of device. Twist the mouthpiece to the angle I want it to coincide with my button. I'm going to adjust my voltage down because I had this high voltage. Um, these are low res, 1.8 uh, ohms, so uh, I, I don't mind it. Uh, lower, lower, lower voltage, 3.3, 3.4 uh, is where I set for these. So uh, give them a try. Great flavor off them. It's, it's very pure kind of flavor like the G4 was, but without all the leaking issues, which is nice. Uh, don't really have many tips and tricks for them. I've been using them for a week or so. Haven't had any problems. The, the only real problem is, is if you are the kind of person that keeps it up on your desk like this and just vapes like this, after a few vapes, you're going to start to get a dratty hit. That's that dry atomizer taste um, if you're not storing it on its side like I do. So if you do store it up and down, just uh, periodically turn it upside down, make sure some juice gets up in that upper area, and you can see it all kind of gets stuck up there. Good. And vape on. Cool. There you have it. Uh, I'll put the link where to get these uh, new cardamizers uh, down below, and I'll also put the link to um, what this whole Movember thing is about, if you're wondering why I'm rocking this uh, kind of Magnum Chevron thing on my face. Uh, it's for charity. It's for Movember. You probably heard it. Uh, heard about it, wondered what it is, so I'll put a link uh, to all the information in the video notes for this video, as well as a spot where you can donate if you want to kick in for men's health. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Vapor.